Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm timeless photographer and cinematographer Drew Geraci. Today's a very exciting day, as is every day. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about the brand new Kessler Cine Shooter. And uh, it's one of these devices that you may not think you need, but you definitely do. Especially if you're in the professional video world or time lapse or uh, stop motion. Um, these types of motion control devices really help elevate your craft um, from here all the way up past here. You know, we're going off screen with this stuff. Um, but this is kind of like, uh, an entryway into uh, ultra professional level uh, motion control. And this is what's gonna give you really beautiful cinematic moves, whether you're trying to do um, just a two axis, which is pan and tilt, or a three axis, which includes um, a perspective move left and right, or you can even go up to uh, five axes. I've been testing this product out for the last year or so, and Kessler's really come a long way uh, since the prototype model that I was testing out. And they've really flushed out a lot of the bugs, a lot of the issues, and what you get now is just really just ultra smooth, uh, very cinematic, very Hollywood-esque, uh, one might say, um, motion control picture. And this is great if you're shooting live action, whether you're doing interviews or just B-roll, or you wanna go out there and shoot beautiful time-lapse um, utilizing both motion control. Uh, and this is probably one of the best systems I've ever used. Um, I've been using Kessler for the last five years. Uh, I should preface this that I am a Kessler ambassador, but I've also used some of the other um, sliders that are out there, uh, both on the lower end and the higher end. And I think Kessler really fits nice and snugly right in that middle area where you get the best of both worlds. And that's kind of what the new Cine shooter is. Uh, Kessler also has their second shooter unit and their Cine drive unit, um, which the Cine drive is that very very ultra high end, it can do uh, really ultra high payload weights, uh, where the second shooter is more of like your lower weight, less than 10 pounds, um, kind of mirrorless DSLR camera. And this bad boy um, is literally that nice middle ground where you can hold up to 25 pounds uh, of camera, which is really exceptional. And you still get that nice buttery smooth movement uh, and that precision back and forth. So let's jump right in and talk about the new Cine shooter. What sets us apart from other motion control heads? And to me, the biggest benefit of this new nodal head is its form factor. Uh, it starts off with the ability to hold and shoot 15 pounds, uh, and once you upgrade it, it can hold up to 25 pounds with the camera equipment, uh, which to me is pretty amazing. Um, it's gonna allow you to throw on mirrorless bodies like the new Sony A1, uh, or even heavier, larger bodies like the Red Monstro, Alexa Mini, FX9, C300, uh, and anything else you throw at it. Uh, along with the weight capacity, the Cine Shooter is super lightweight, and it packs up really nicely into a backpack if you're more mobile productions and it's especially great for time-lapse shooting um, especially if you're going out there hiking you can fit the whole thing in your bag throw a bunch of lenses in bodies accessories uh, and be ready to shoot some awesome cinematics without breaking your back the base unit weighs 5.4 pounds so it's quite light this is one of the main reasons why i use this model especially if i'm on the go and i'm out in the field because the last thing you want to do is break your back when you're out there shooting some of the other benefits and features to this new unit um, includes the new Limo power connection, as well as V-mount or gold mount batteries on the side, which is really handy, especially if you've got a bunch of V-mount batteries or gold mount batteries laying around. And then you also have that standard 12 volt barrel connection. So there's tons of new power options to power the unit. For me, the build quality of something that I'm gonna be using consistently out in the field or on set is also really important. The Cine Shooter is solid, tactile, and feels professionally constructed, which you know I really wouldn't expect anything less from Kessler. And the user interface is really easy to use and navigate to. My only gripe with the navigation system is the enter button, which is the actual joystick. You have to depress it. And then sometimes when you try to press it down, it pushes left or right, which can take you to another menu system, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, but for the most part, it's not an issue because you really shouldn't be using the manual control in this unit. Uh, it's really only there for a backup or a worst case scenario. Uh, where this unit really shines is its wireless abilities to be able to control it from your cell phone, laptop, or even a PS4 controller. The app works with Android and iOS. It's pretty simple to use and really straightforward. It can be a bit glitchy at times, but the software is always being updated, which is great to see them fixing things so quickly. Uh, and each time it gets an update, the stability and ease of use goes way up. Right now, I'd say the app is at a solid 95% complete in terms of use and stability. And I would say within the next couple of months, once these things actually start shipping, um, you'll see it back at 100%. But overall, it's really nice and simple to use. Personally, I love being able to step away from my rig, use the app, set up a move, um, and then let her rip. It saves me a ton of time and headaches, plus you don't have to worry about standing right next to the unit to actually set up your move. You can use reference monitors and set things up uh, from afar. One of the coolest things I think about the unit is how easy it is to change the number of keyframes. You can go anywhere from one to 10, um, and then if you want to, you can also switch from live action to time lapse or even to stop motion um, instantly with just a swipe going left and right. And you can put in all the important parameters that you wanna make so that you get the shot the way that you want it, um, when you want it. 
It's all Wi-Fi based, so it's super easy to connect to, and as long as you have your cell phone on you, you can easily control the unit without any issues. Kessler also introduced their new KOS, uh, which is even more robust than the phone app, but since it literally just came out, um, I haven't had the opportunity to use it as much as I'd like, but it's very similar to that of the CineDrive version, uh, which I've used many times and is super intuitive um, and really allows you to put a lot of creative spins um, into you know, your motion control design. The new KOS is going to allow you to uh, program tons of keyframes, uh, which gives you more creative freedom. And since this literally just came out, um, I'm going to go back and do a more thorough review on just KOS and show you how to use it. One of the other features I love about this unit is how great it is for creating seamless and precise repeatable motion. Uh, really, it's probably one of the best features um, of any motion control that I've ever used. Um, and it really allows you to do some fun things since it hits the mark 100% of the time. It's also great for blending live action and time lapse together, um, which is something that I love to do. The new head also allows you to do a full 360 roll when you zero it out on the head, and it's something that you couldn't do with the second shooter or the cine drive without a lot of headaches. Uh, it really brings a lot of new and exciting possibilities creative-wise to the table, uh, and it's something I know I'll be utilizing somewhere in the near future. You can mount Arca Swiss plates to the head as well. Um, I like to pair it with the uh, Kessler Quick Release on the Arca Swiss plates so that you can easily remove the camera uh, without having any hassle. The price point for the new Cine Shooter is a little steep for folks that are just getting into the motion control game, uh, but if you're a professional and you want the smoothest, most cinematic type shots, then the price really isn't that bad. Uh, with all the accessories and the head, it's a little bit less than $3,500, which if you're doing this professionally, it's a really reasonably priced unit. For me personally, this is going to be my go-to head from here on out. Uh, I've already used it a few times on productions, and the end results were really great. So if you're in the market for creating beautiful and cinematic time-lapse or live-action sequences, this is definitely a must-get item to add to your cinematic toolbox. That being said, if this is out of your price range, take a look at the second shooter or even some of the more basic motion control systems like the Serp Genie or the Elder Crone. Your end result might not just look as cinematic or as smooth, uh, but they're definitely cheaper options um, for you. All right, well, thanks for joining me, everybody. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, please like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. Thanks, everybody.